All right, guys, so welcome to your first project. So if you go to Canvas and you click on the download link, you will find these series of pages. So uh, our first project is going to be to do some architectural lettering and also some line weight exercises. So what I need is for you to get a few sheets of blank, eight and a half by inch sheet of paper. Uh, so you're going to start off with one. And we're going to first draw our title block. And title blocks are used in architectural uh, drawings to uh, put the company's name, company's logo, project name, project title, uh, client name, and things like that. So a lot of the drawings that you create for this class will have some sort of a title block. And if you look at your handout here, what we want to do is on, this is our sheet of paper. And we want to kind of, you see this number right here, quarter inch. So this is going to be a quarter inch all around right here, quarter inch, and down here, quarter inch. And then, of course, on the side here, we're going to go with three quarter inch. So let's first start off with that. So you're going to get your scale, architectural scale you have. <clears throat> and on the architecture scale, you could start off on the quarter inch side, or you can just take the one inch equals a foot, and then from here to here equals one inch, or from zero to this number one, that's also one inch. So, and then this is also divided into quarter, half, three quarters, and then an inch. So I'm gonna use the one inch scale for this exercise. So I'm gonna put my scale here, and I know that from this edge to here's a quarter, so I'm gonna put a little tick mark, and come down somewhere down here, same thing, take it from the edge to here. So I have a little tick mark there. And I'm going to take my scale here. And I'm going to draw a very light line like that. I know that on, your, on, on my video you probably can't see it, but I could see it and it's a very light line. I'm going to turn my page around. Again, do a quarter inch here. Do another really light line just so that I can see it. Um, another quarter inch. Connect the dots. And then this side, this edge is going to be three quarters of an inch. And the reason for that is that if you have multiple pages, this is where you'll put your three ring binder, like holes or staples or things like that. So the left side of your page is always has a thicker border. So if I take my one inch scale, I know that from if I go from here, one, two, three, that would be three quarters of an inch. Or if I take my quarter inch scale from zero, I got one, two, and three quarters here. So either way it works. So I'm going to take that. That and draw a really light line. So I can see my four corners, uh, four lines around my border right now. I'm also going to put some guidelines in to uh, do all my divisions. So, for instance, this particular block here, I want three and three quarters. Put that up here for a second. So. Here on my ruler, I don't know if you can see, I have three inches here and I have zero. So I know I got one, two, three inches. And then if I go this way, I got one, two, three quarters. So I simply, I'll put my number three here and go three quarters. Um, come up here. Just gonna draw a really light line um, so this line here that I just drew represents kind of this line here. Uh, I also need to give myself one, two additional lines. And that is uh, from here to here is three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to take one of these lines and measure three quarters. This line. 
three quarters. Do another light line there. And I'm going to divide this up into two. So that will be three eighths. I can see it here, guys. So I have a zoom version of this. So I just drew this line and this line at three quarters of an inch. And then on the zoom version, this is uh, half of three quarters, which is three eighths. Three eighths and three eighths. So um, I have a three eighth inch scale here. So from zero to here, this equals three eighths. So I'm going to. Like that. And my little cube here is one inch from the edge of my paper to this line. So I'm going to take my one inch. almost there and then I just need these just this line really so I'm an inch and a half away from this edge here so I'll take my one inch scale go inch and a half So I have all my lines blocked out. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but this is where you want to come in with maybe a marker of some sort, a thick marker. And then I'm going to use my metal straight edge so I don't, I don't put marker on my uh, scale. And then you're just going to trace over all your lines. There you go. So that's your title block there. And when you guys turn in your project, I'd like for you guys to, on this upper block is where I'd like you to put your project name. So this will be project one. Um, go ahead and put Los Angeles Harbor College. Date. Super important to put a date on whatever you turn in. And class, you guys will be ARC 172. Your name. And, um, and that's it really. Uh, if you have multiple projects, so let's say you're turning in four sheets of paper, then you would put one of four, and then the second sheet you will be putting two of four, third one would be three of four, and then the fourth one will be four of four. And what, what that does, it tells me, or whoever you're sending the drawing to, that when I see this of four, it means that I should be I should be looking at four sheets of paper. So if you were emailing it to somebody and I only received one sheet or two sheet, uh, that's that's a, a way of kind of informing the person, hey, you should have received four sheets of paper. So that would be the uh, the proper way to kind of designate if you have multiple sheets that you're turning in. Okay, so let's get on to your project. So you will be creating. One, two, you will be creating three of these sheets. Uh, I'm only going to do one uh, for this demo, but you will be creating three blank sheets and you'll be drawing title blocks on each of the three sheets. Uh, the first project is going to be this, where you're going to create alphabets. You're going to write it at least 10 times uh, straight down and then 10 times uh, your numbers uh, one through zero. So to start this project, I'd like you to kind of give yourself some space from the edge of your title block. So let's go out roughly about one inch for now. And then you're going to draw a series of lines, guidelines, so that you know where to write your alphabets. Um, you're going to make those one eighth of an inch thick guidelines. So to do that, 
you're going to get your ruler or your scale. And I'm going to take my pencil here. I'll come off about an inch here. An inch here. And I'm just going to draw a rough guidelines that I could see. It's just right there. I don't know if you can catch it on the screen. And then I'm going to also draw myself some horizontal guidelines. So um, what I'd recommend is flip your scale around till you see eighth of an inch mark. And so from zero, each one of these ticks represents one eighth of an inch. So I'm simply going to Actually, you know what, before I do that, I probably will have to come down a certain amount. So let me start off with one horizontal line. I'll come three quarters of an inch down from there. Three quarters. So that'll represent my first line. You know what, so you guys can see, oh well, yeah, oh, so hopefully you guys can see Actually, I'll draw it a little bit darker so you guys can see it on the screen. So this is a guideline. Please don't draw it so thick, but I'm drawing it a little bit thicker so you can see it. I have another guideline here that I'll draw a little bit thicker. And then I would draw another parallel line here, parallel to this line on this side. So I'll just take any arbitrary measurements. I'll take one inch from this edge. One inch. And I'll draw another straight line here. And then I'll take my eighth inch, put my zero right at that top of that line, and give myself a bunch of reference tick marks. And I'll just connect the dots. These lines I'm going to draw them a little bit lighter so you may not see it on the screen, but I can certainly see them. And if you're drawing these with your pencil, you'll notice that I'll, I'll roll my pencils as I clean the line, because if you don't roll your pencils, uh, you'll get a chisel tip. Uh, you'll see what I mean if you don't roll it. So it's a habit, but I'm always just rolling my uh, mechanical pencil as I draw my lines. I think I screwed up somewhere here, but it's okay. Keep going. So you guys are going to create, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to pull it off the camera. A bunch of horizontal lines that are eighth inch apart all the way down. And then you're going to start to do your architectural lettering. So I'm going to do an example down here and I'll make it pretty big so you guys can see it. But architectural lettering uh, is done always in all full caps. And uh, the secret sauce to that, actually, you know what? I'm going to bring the camera down. You guys can see that. Okay. So here's A. B is straight down. C. D.
So that's your architectural lettering. Everything should be in caps. And the secret with this is anything that's vertical, like the B, and backside of the D, E, F, this part, this part. So everything that I'm writing in red, those should be almost straight up and down as much as possible. That. And if you keep these up, up and down, the whole lettering looks a lot more consistent. And then you're going to repeat A through Z, but skip the next eighth of an inch line and start on your third line again. And the idea is to try to make your lettering look the same every time you write it. So we're going to do this 10 times. And once you do that 10 times, we're going to do letter uh, or numbers. So numbers will be the same kind of principle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, your vertical parts of your numbers. If those things stay straight up and down, that kind of gives it a uniform look and you know, your numbers look uh, pretty consistent. So again, you're going to give me 10 times lettering so that your homework looks something like that. And then you're going to get a fresh sheet of paper. It's really important that you get a fresh sheet of paper. And you're going to draw some lines for me. So the first one is going to be a bunch of horizontal lines. And the first series of lines, you're going to draw nine lines. So there's nine lines here, nine lines here, nine lines here, and nine lines here. So, so the first set of lines, you're going to draw very, very light so that you can hardly see them. The second set of lines are going to be uh, medium. The third is dark, and then the fourth will be very dark. So I want you guys to try to practice keeping the lines very very consistent a couple of things so we want you to draw nine lines and each of these lines are going to be five and a half inches long from here to here five and a half inches long and the separation of each line is going to be eighth of an inch apart right so that's very important that i'd like you to kind of follow instructions so if i take this line as my first reference line let me first kind of draw a parallel line or perpendicular line here. So I'm going to measure from the top of my paper here just so that I get a nice, clean, even number. And then I'll go down, let's say, four inches. Of course, for you, you're not going to go down four inches because you'll have a fresh sheet of paper. And I'm going to draw this line a little bit dark so you guys can see it. But you're going to draw a guideline, a reference line. And you want to figure out from point zero all the way to five and a half inches. So take your one inch ruler. And I'm going to measure five and a half inches. This is zero. That's a half an inch. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's perfect. All right, well, then I know that my lines are supposed to be this long. And then, so then I'm going to make eighth of an inch lines. So I'm going to take my eighth inch scale and tick off one, two, three, four, nine lines. Another tick here, same thing, so that I keep my lines parallel. And then I'm going to draw my series of lines. So, again, your very first series of nine lines, I like them to be as light 
as possible. Okay, I don't know if you can barely see it here, but very light. So all your light nine lines should be very light. And then your second series of lines should be um, medium. So that's your medium line. So yeah, you can barely see my light lines. And then here's my medium. And so you're going to do nine times that. So all your lines should look the same. And then your third series are going to be dark lines. So because you're using the same lead, what I recommend is just kind of go through it a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is darker than that. And if not, just go ahead and go over that line again so you can get it to that darkness. And then your last series of nine lines are going to be very dark. So you're going to have to probably go through it multiple times. To get a super dark line, right? So you're going to, so here's an example. So you're going to give me nine lines that are very light, nine lines that are medium, nine lines that are dark, and then nine lines that are very dark. And then you're going to get another sheet of paper, and you're going to do all vertical lines. These are a little bit longer. These lines are seven inches long here, but the spacing is still the same at one eighth of an inch. Okay, so please work on these three sheets of paper for me, and then feel free to uh, I imagine our classes are still going to be online, so feel, feel free to take a photograph of your page and then uh, turn them into the Canvas website. See you guys on the next session.